For the first time this year, schools across the nation will be asking students if one of their parents is active duty military. A law passed in 2015 requires schools to collect and report data on children of active duty servicemen and women. Eyewitness News Washington correspondent Anna Wernicke explains. Service men and women face challenges on and off the battlefield, and the children of active duty parents face challenges of their own back home. Military kids move on average every two to three years, and sometimes those school transitions can be challenging. Eileen Huck with the National Military Family Association says for the first time this year, schools across the nation are required by law to ask if a student has an active duty parent in the military. From a parent standpoint, it should be very seamless. It's part of the Every Student Succeeds Act, which was signed into law in 2015. Starting this year, schools are required to collect the information and send it to their state education agency. That student data file going forward will always have a a flag or a purple star or some indicator that this is a military connected child. Jack Ballantyne with the Military Child Education Coalition says the information will give teachers insight into issues facing these students so they can help the kids succeed. Now they can be able to see and know who their military connected kids are. They can know, they can tell how the kids are doing academically, social and emotionally compared to their civilian peer counterparts. But Ballantyne says while the new law is a step in the right direction, it doesn't go far enough. The federal law doesn't require the data be collected for uh, the guard and the reserve. Ballantyne hopes Congress will change that. Reporting from Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke, Eyewitness News. Still to come on Eyewitness